Alex Short for San Francisco. He's had some strong performances. Certainly has. And he's one of those uh, individuals that has been shown time and time again. He's been incredibly consistent uh, throughout the course of the season. There's two critical components that make Alex the athlete that he is. First and foremost is his mind. He is extremely competitive, and when he sets his mind to something from a competitive standpoint, he's all in. And I think that coupled with his aerobic ability makes for a really good distance runner. Great run over the last 2K for the grad student from England. The development that he's had in a year has really gotten him to the place that he is right now. I think he's learned how to manage himself in the NCAA system and to be a little bit more patient. When he was seventh at the pre-national meet two weeks before the, the WCC championships, that was really kind of the sign that he was going to be able to be in a position where he could contend for the title because he ran that race really well uh, just from a strategic standpoint. That was genuinely, I think, the pivotal point where I thought to myself, I beat all the Colorado guys in that race, I beat all the Oregon guys bar, bar two, I beat a lot of UTEP guys. And so I thought to myself, actually, Alex Short from Bicknaker is not too shabby. I was just very confident in my ability and I thought to myself, there's no one on that start line that I think is head and shoulders better than me. Success is on the line, everything you've done in the last eight, ten months, riding on one race. After it started to string out, he kind of got towards the front with about two or three other athletes and just kind of held his position until it was just him and one other athlete. Short is absolutely turning it on. I got to a kilometre to go and I thought, I'm going to firmly outkick this man. I'm just going to throw everything at him in the last kind of 500 metres and pray for, for my dear life that he doesn't hang on. I think he knows that he's done the damage and he's going to walk away with the title here. Coming to that finishing straight and like crossing the finishing line, it was just very surreal. Like I felt so out of my depth last year, but I felt so calm and collected this year. It's not an easy thing to win a conference championship, especially in our conference. We haven't had a male win since 2007, and we've had you know, multiple athletes who've qualified for the national meet as, in, as individuals. So you know, for him to actually execute and get it done and come out on top, I mean, I'm so, so proud of him and so happy, but probably more importantly, just excited for, for him to continue to build off of that at the West Region Mead. He's really figuring it out in terms of how to get the most out of himself in competitive opportunities. I think he's fitter and more experienced and I think he can run with just about anybody in the region. It's been a real confidence booster to know that this is the hardest region in the whole of the NCAA. And so it was quite nice finishing as high as I did. And in fourth place, Alex Short. He's probably one of the top 20 to 30 athletes in the country right now. Um, and obviously it's difficult to be an All-American. You have to finish in the top 40 at the NCAA Championships and you have to run well on the day. I'm just going to be relaxed. I'm just going to try and have as much fun as I can because the, the one like under, common underlying theme of all the races that I've, I've run this year was that I stood on the start line completely relaxed. Just like putting everything on the line and then basically just going ham the last like one kilometer and seeing where I end up. He has to stay in the moment and stay in the process and um, if he does that I'm very confident he's going to be our first All-American.